In this short video, we want to show you why low dietary fat intake, and indeed low calories, can be horrendous for managing your weight. We are going to get into some science involving testosterone, lipoproteins, and calories. However, if you want to skip the science, we would advise you avoid the low calorie trap and keep your dietary fat intake to moderate. Get it out! <laughs> want to know the real reason? Ready for some science? Let's go! There are two primary reasons why people look to try a low-fat diet. The first is the belief that you are what you eat. So if you eat a lot of dietary fat, your body will have to store it as belly fat and you will be fatter and heavier as a result. The second is due to people looking to reduce calories. It's easier to have a low-fat diet if you reduce dietary fat. We want to really explain why low-fat diets are bad for your weight, and we are going to get into some science, so buckle up. Today's video is going to piggyback on some of the concepts we've covered before on some of our previous videos, especially those relating to weight gain. Let's start with low-fat diets in relation to calories. A lot of modern-day weight loss gurus still preach low calories as the golden rule to weight loss. Dietary fat has the most amount of calories out of all the macronutrients. Nine calories per gram of fat, as opposed to four calories per gram of protein or carbs. The quest for low calories leaves most people cutting dietary fat intake. We keep saying in many of our videos that calories can be misleading and they are not a good system to follow. This is a good example. Here's the reality. Saturated fat and cholesterol, the type of things you find in eggs, meat, dairy, coconut oil, are necessary for testosterone production. Even though this fat is high in calories, if you cut it to the extreme, your testosterone levels will suffer. When that happens, you have less inhibition of lipoprotein lipase and less inhibition of adipocyte differentiation. It's counterintuitive, we know. You want to lose body fat, so you consume less fat in your diet, because that seemed obvious. You also want to cut out calories, and the easiest way to do this is to cut dietary fat, which is high in calories. The irony is that you need to eat fat in order to stay lean. Ah, bonsoir. Here in France, we like the cheese. I am fat. Oh, nom, 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 nom. Testosterone is important when you're trying to understand fat gain, and low-fat diet will result in low testosterone. And while low testosterone is a different subject altogether, we still want it to make sense. Here's what you need to remember. Testosterone inhibits lipoprotein lipase and differentiation of adipocytes. Lipoprotein lipase is responsible for trapping fat in fat cells. Differentiation of adipocytes is the scientific term for the creation of new fat cells. When you eat a low-fat diet, you severely restrict your body's ability to produce testosterone, or TESS for short, our superhero hormone helping in the war against fat gain. TESS inhibits both of them, commanding lipoprotein lipase to slow down. Stop tripping fat and fat cells, you evil bastards! And tells your body to stop creating new ones. Let's dive a bit deeper. Women have less testosterone than men by default, which is part of the reason why they are so curvy. Especially around the hips and thighs, where lipoprotein lipase works hard. Visceral fat? Yep. Lack of testosterone does that too, which is why the famous beer belly is associated with too much oestrogen, famously found in beer. And with more oestrogen, you usually find less testosterone and visceral fat or intra-abdominal fat. When you're young, you have more testosterone, but as you age, your testosterone production declines. This is also part of the reason why you can get away with more bad food choices when you are younger, because you have tests helping you mitigate fat gain, and why you have to choose wisely as you get older and older and older due to natural testosterone decline. 
You've all heard the line, it's different after you pass the age of 30, or your weight loss doesn't count because you're much younger and it's much easier. We have another video on age and weight gain, but now hopefully you understand how important testosterone is, because if you have less testosterone, you will likely gain more fat over time. Regardless of your age and current levels of testosterone, eating a low-fat diet will always make things worse for you. Your body needs dietary fat and cholesterol to produce normal levels of testosterone. It's much more important as you get older because you will already have some decline and the last thing you want is to cut that any further. To make matters worse, low-fat diets usually mean they're higher in carbs. This may mean less calories, but in reality, carbs are the most direct way to flood your body with glucose, which then needs to get stored somewhere. More often than not, it gets synthesized into fatty acids and deposited into the fat cells. These are the two biggest reasons why a low-fat diet is bad for your waist. A, low fat intake means you are increasing your body's ability to store fat by cutting testosterone and no longer putting the brakes on lipoprotein lipase. B, not only does it make it easier for your body to store fat, it also gets you more glucose to store as fat too. All of that despite it being lower in calories. As counterintuitive as it may be, eating dietary fat doesn't necessarily mean storing body fat, even though it's high in calories. The best approach in regards to food composition would be to include plenty of good natural sources of dietary fat. And if you want to cut anything, by all means, we suggest you focus your efforts on cutting carbohydrates and sugar. The only thing you need to prepare yourself for is the shock of realizing we're talking higher calories. And although it may not make sense to you yet, it can help you stay lean. This is the scientific reasoning, but the conclusion is actually really simple. As we said at the start of this video, do not fall into the trap of low calories and make sure you keep reasonable amounts of dietary fat in your nutrition. As always, we would love to hear what you think. So make sure you leave us a comment. Until next time, stay belly proof.